Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be discussing rear wheel steering and towards the end of the video we'll be actually looking at an example of this uh, from a Lexus GS. Now rear wheel steering is actually pretty straightforward how it works. Um, what we're looking at here is a top down view of the two rear wheels and what I've set up is basically a rack and pinion here which is one method it could be done um, but basically we've got our two rear wheels We've got these connecting arms which are going to be uh, controlled by this rack and pinion and we've got an electric motor with a gear on it. So that gear meshes with the rack and pinion and it can rotate this gear and then move this linear rack back and forth and by rotating that uh, gear and moving this linear rack back and forth as you can see it will pull on this linkage here and that will rotate the tire this direction and rotate this tire that direction as well so they'll turn that way or it can rotate the other direction and turn the wheels the other direction. Now there are multiple ways you could do this. Um, you know, you could have a hydraulic setup. You could also have the electric motor in line uh, and use like a linear actuator to have that movement back and forth. So there's all kinds of different ways uh, in order to create motion in that direction. Uh, I just chose this as it's simple to understand how it works. Now, this type of system is dependent on vehicle speed and it'll read from various sensors such as, you know, your steering sensors or any stability information uh, in order to determine what to do when you are steering. Uh, but basically, you can break it down between high speeds and low speeds. So when the vehicle is traveling at high speeds, all four vehicles or all four wheels rather will turn the same direction in order to have greater stability while you're driving that direction. So if you're going on the highway and you're merging lanes and you turn the wheel a little bit, all four wheels will turn that direction and you'll have a nice smooth stable uh, merger. Now, so this is basically distributing all of the turning forces evenly between the four tires, so it makes it a bit more stable. At lower speeds, however, you don't necessarily want to do this because you'd just be shifting the vehicle back and forth rather than actually turning. So with lower speeds, like let's say you're in a parking lot, uh, it's going to have the rear wheels go the opposite direction that the front wheels go. So we're doing that left-hand corner again. The front wheels turn towards the left and the rear wheels turn towards the right. And basically what this does is it reduces your turning radius so the vehicle is a bit more maneuverable. Now another thing at lower speeds uh, when you do this, uh, when it is still stable to do so, you're going to have faster cornering this response. So that's another benefit of the wheels like that uh, and that orientation. So now let's check out the actual system. And what we're looking at here is the steering, rear wheel steering for a Lexus GS sedan. Uh, and as you can see, you've got the electric motor in the center and that's controlling the actuation of the steering for both the right and left sides. So it can turn these rear wheels. Thanks for watching.